So in this video, I want to introduce the, uh, the limits at infinity. So these are going to describe the horizontal asymptotes. So using these, we can analyze the tail, the tail end behavior of functions. Okay. So to, uh, uh, to illustrate this, I'm going to define a function. Okay. So let f of x be equal to 3x squared all over x squared plus 1. Okay. So what we're going to do is build two tables. We're going to construct two tables. In the first table, we're going to let x approach minus infinity. In the second table, we're going to let x approach positive infinity. Okay. Okay, so it's the first columns for x, second columns for f of x. So we're going to have the values of 0, okay, minus 10, minus 100, minus 1,000. Okay. So these are approaching minus infinity. Okay. So we evaluate these, uh, we evaluate these uh, points, okay, or these, we can evaluate these into our function. So that's going to give us uh, 0. Obviously, this will be 0. Uh, then we get 2.97. Uh, and then we have 2.997, okay, and then we have 2.99997, okay. So these values are approaching 3, okay. So now let's build a second table. Okay. So we're going to use the positive values uh, for, from our first table. So we're going to have 0, 10, 100, 1,000. Okay. So these are approaching infinity. Okay. All right. And um, because, because of our function, uh, we're going to get the same y values. So we get 0, 2.97. 2.997 and then we have 2.999 and one more 9 okay 7 so these are approaching 3 okay all right so that's what we see from this graph here okay so as x approaches uh, minus infinity okay okay so as x approaches minus infinity uh, the y values, right? The y values for this function is getting closer to three, and that is this horizontal line that you see here. Okay. As x approaches infinity, the y values again are getting closer and closer to three. Okay. So they're approaching three, but they're never going to. Uh, they're never going to. Uh, it's, these y values, okay, this function will never touch that horizontal axis, okay? All right. Now, just to remind you something, just to remind something from pre-calculus. Now, the, the function may cross the horizontal asymptote, but in the long run, it won't do that, okay? So, so if it does, so if the function does cross the horizontal asymptote, that will be somewhere, uh, that will be, uh, it will be close by uh, the zero value, okay? Or it could be in the near near zero, okay? But it won't do that in the um, as we approach, you know, as we approach infinity or, or negative infinity, okay? All right. So in the first table here, okay. Okay. So for this first table, this is the. Uh, we say this is the limit of our function as x approaches negative infinity. So this is equal to 3. In the second table, uh, we have the limit of our function as x approaches positive infinity. And that gave us a value of 3. Okay. So both of these limits are defined. Okay. All right. And again, so because uh, these are limits involving infinity, 
And so both of these are approaching uh, a finite value. So therefore, this finite value, as mentioned earlier, is the horizontal asymptote, okay, for this function. Okay, so therefore f of x has a horizontal asymptote at y equals to 3, okay? So that's how we can describe these horizontal asymptotes um, in terms of limits.